We are here today with Dr. Lado Kenny, who is the Director General of the National Communication Authority of South Sudan. Dr. Kenny, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Dr. Kenny, we are here in Kigali. We've gathered here in Kigali this week for two key meetings of ITU. The Regional Development Forum, which took place on Monday, the 5th of December, and the Regional Preparatory Meeting, uh, which is taking place now. Um, how important are these two meetings for the World Telecommunication Development Conference of ITU, which will take place in October 2017 in Argentina? Yes, thank you for the question. Actually, the Regional Development Forum and the Regional Preparatory Meeting for the uh, WTDC uh, 17, which is going to take place in Beyond Aros. Uh, in these meetings, we reviewed the uh, performance and the report on all the projects that are concerning the African region. And then that is during the meeting of the Regional Development Forum and we did make contributions to, uh, you know, the, the, we evaluated what was uh, lacking and what was not implemented and what are the, the difficulties and all the criteria that are supposed to uh, make progress. And now, with that one, then we came to the regional preparatory meeting and whatever uh, uh, the deficit that happened in the, in, the, in the Regional Development Forum report. Then now we are bringing them forward and, and, and uh, making them better so that uh, the African region, when we go to the, uh, to the, to the WTDC in 17, uh, we will be more prepared. Our contribution will be harmonized. And then also the projects that for the regional projects, the regional initiative that we are going to come with, will all be uh, harmonized. And then uh, we look forward that in collaboration with the other regions of the ITU, then we will come into understanding so that we come out with more meaningful resolutions to uh, actually uh, achieve the, the SDGs and, and the wishes uh, that, that are part of the, of the mandate of the ITU to, to implement, to impact on the life of the people. Thank you. And speaking about the impact we make on people's lives, um, we know that the ICT's landscape has changed tremendously in the past uh, few years. Mm -hmm. How can ICT development contribute to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals which were adopted in 2015? Yes. Uh, I'll just tell you an example of uh, the, the region where South Sudan is in. Uh, the ICT is contributing a lot in, in achieving those development goals. One of them is like uh, the banking of the unbanked uh, uh, people in this region. We have got what is called Northern Corridor Region. In this Northern Corridor Region, we created a one network area where we took out all the, the, the roaming charges and then we fixed the, uh, we fix the, the, the tariffs for the telecommunication operations and then uh, we increase the, the, the traffic and, and the, the, uh, you know, the interaction of the people. Uh, you get uh, many uh, people from this region in another, uh, another, another country and they were able to communicate at affordable uh, uh, prices and then also uh, what uh, the, the cross section, the, the, the cross border uh, mobile money transaction actually is a very great thing because now uh, people in the rural areas they were able to access uh, banks, they are able to access you know the, the small businesses were able to access loans through the banks and all this. And this has been made possible with the ICT, which is the mobile uh, communications. So, this is just one example. Uh, specifically in South Sudan, we have also initiatives uh, for peace, for example, in South Sudan. We are building peace centers in, in, in different parts of the country to bring all the youth together and uh, through, you know, uh, taking out some of the, uh, or, or educating them on peace through, through uh, the, 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 the communication or the internet, actually. They, they do links together 
uh, there are other a lot of, of misconceptions about other communities and the other community when they come together and talk through the the, the video conferencing then you, you find that there's harmony here this also we are achieving you know this this the SDGs goal through this uh, uh, ICT uh, technology yeah thank you very much this is the end of our interview thank you very much dr. Kenny for your insight you're welcome thank you. you're thank welcome you.